Let me shut my, uh, my flip phone off. What is that, from the 80s? I like it. You get calls, you make calls. What else do you need it for? Well, who are you going to be sexting? What if you want to start sexting? Oh, uh, no. Ugh. Yuck. All right. Lawrence, Larry. Yes? Just before the camera started rolling, you said, I can't believe I'm 82. What's not to believe? Well, when I was a kid on the streets of Brooklyn. Here we are. Sitting on stoops. That's right. Th nobody was 80. Nobody? No, nobody. Because they didn't live that long? What else? They, I, I don't know. Maybe they moved to Florida like all Jews. No, then they die there when they're 73. <laughs> no, it's true. It is weird, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Anyway, I regard this as a gift, but I, I don't want it to go away. In other words, I like living. I've never had a thought in my life of not living. Really? Even uh, yeah. in, in some dark days, if some really bad stuff happened, you never thought, you know what? Not I could... to live? Absolutely not. Never not to live. Because I'm too curious. I've lived my life on curiosity. I made a good living being curious. If you're very curious, I don't want to leave the earth. Who's going to win the pennant? Who's the next president? Understand? I have to be around. Okay. Well, I have to be around. And I got a young wife. And she's a hottie. She's a hottie and she keeps me going. But what's the thing that you sit back and go, huh, I wonder how I'll ever find out this. You know, okay, we can't a few Google it. We can't Siri it. I wonder if there's life somewhere else. Like in on Pasadena or in, oh, another planet. Don't be kidding. Ah. <laughs> well, I wonder if we'll ever travel by light. Wait, if we'll ever travel by light. Light beam, yeah. Like at the speed of? Yeah, I wonder if planes, instead of taking off that way, which caused a lot of problems around airports, could take off like a helicopter. Hovercraft, like. Yeah, like that, yeah. By the way, I've got a new line yes. of bedding. I know. Called Sleep Like a King. How'd you come up with that one? I wa it's never been trademarked. It's our trademark. Come on. I swear to God. But I wonder how it's going to do. It's going to do great. The, the, so, But I, I want to see it do. I don't want to go and, uh, and have my wife make a lot of money with the next guy That's sleeping true. on that, my sheets. That, ew! Ah. Disgusting. I hope it never happens. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do if I go. Okay. I'm not saying I'm going. I'm not saying you're if going I either. Go. I want to be cremated. But I want the ashes to go. This is in the will. Okay. The ashes to go everywhere she is. Above her bed with a constant tape of me speaking. Let's say she dates a guy named Phil. Things get pretty tender and Phil works his way past the living room. <laughs> And he goes into the bedroom, and, then, and there's a little thing on top of the bed, and he hears, Wichita, hello, what's your call? And by the way, Phil, hands <laughs> off my wife. Something like that. He's gone. He's gone. From the nation's capital, Mutual Radio presents The Larry King Show. Thank you, Fred Larry, and good evening, everybody. On this Friday night, Saturday morning across America, this is The Larry King Show, coast to coast. I was reading that in your first show, you had guests on for two hours. I had guests for two hours, sometimes two and a half. They took calls all night. It was the first network national talk show. It was amazing. Are you still basically a gangster? How does it feel to be so fierce? <laughs> Are you gay? You're being inappropriate. Okay. You, are you know who I am? Who your favorite interviewee ever was and why? Way up on the list would be Frank Sinatra. Because? Because he was hard to get and he was a great interview. I don't mind a question that border on uh, maybe a, a, a difficult way to answer because I try to find, find my way out of it. But I also like the Mandela, Malcolm X, seven presidents. I've had a fortunate life. No, you ask good questions. Well, I, th I listen to the, listening is as important as asking. Would you say it's more important? It's as important. I think listening not only makes somebody a good interviewer, but also a good person. Yeah, but you could be a you could be a dumb interviewer, and therefore the questions would be dumb. But anybody but dumb interviewers don't stay on the air forever, because you have <laughs> been on the air for a really long time, like forever. As Frank Sinatra said, there's a lot to be said for longevity. That's life. That's life. Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Mm. L'chaim. L'chaim. And all the rest. For life. Mm.